Hey everybody, I'm so excited about today's videos. We're gonna talk about the top three canned meats you should be stockpiling. Now, obviously if they're not your favorites, you don't like that kind of meat, then go to number two or number three. But I'm gonna show you pound for pound the best meats to buy as far as canned meats go. Canned meats last practically indefinitely, by the way. And so I always say stock up in meats because the protein content is something you seriously need. In fact, I'll link at the end of the video, another video you should watch that proves my point. I'm telling you, physiologically speaking, as a doctor, protein is what it's all about. But we're gonna be looking at protein content, we're gonna be looking at the price of the meat. And thirdly, we're going to also look at fillers too. Things in there that you may now want to buy as far as meats go, because honestly, there's, just, there's some really bad things in some of the meats. All right, so let's jump right into it. And I'm just gonna use Walmart's website to show you the different meats. The reason being is it's very difficult for me to show you on the can exactly how many proteins and everything are in there as far as like the uh, ounces and stuff. So I'm just gonna use their Walmart. The prices are pretty much the same there as everywhere else, aren't they? Pretty close. So the first one we'll look at for, wow, 472 for a 10 ounce can of turkey. We're looking at for the small can, 15 grams of protein. What? What are they talking about? I love turkey, but that much for this little can of turkey, especially for the fact that around Thanksgiving, you can buy a, a whole turkey at like what, 98 cents a pound, sometimes even cheaper, 49 cents a pound. I mean, I always tell you the best way to do it is can your own things, but you know, obviously we don't all have time for that or you know, have the equipment for it. So buying cans is great, but not for this price. I'll tell you right now, this is not gonna be one of the top three. Number two, canned roast beef. 374 for 12 ounces, a little bit better of a price. And on this guy, 20 grams of protein. So that's good. Even more protein than the last one. But I do want to show the ingredients. We have beef, beef broth, salt, modified food starch. Who wants that? And besides some car uh, caramel color in there, sodium phosphate. And even though sodium phosphate is normally found in a lot of foods, when they add it to that, well, it can actually cause problems in the wrong way, including kidney disease and kidney problems. So not the best. And that takes us to the prepper's favorite, I think it is anyway, chunk chicken breast. Less than three bucks for 12 ounces, so price definitely getting better. And look at this, 13 grams of protein. Not as much as before, but for the price, that's really great. And I say this is the prepper's favorite because it seems to be a lot of people buy canned chicken, so it might be in the running. Ah, beautiful, fully cooked corned beef from Brazil. A little bit more expensive, 354 for a 12 ounce can. Proteins? Hey, 21 grams, that's good. Ingredients, let's see, we have cooked beef and beef. So some of the beef in there is cooked and the other beef is raw. Salt, that's fine. Sugar, no, <laughs> why'd you have to put sugar in it? And sodium nitrite. Oh, corned beef, why do you disappoint me? Obviously, I still buy it. Sodium nitrite actually comes from celery salt. That's the primary ingredient. And with an abundance of this can actually cause problems with like problems with your arteries and such. So I would seriously, in my opinion, limit the amount of corned beef you eat. I love corned beef. Eh, I don't know. It's good. It's tasty. I like having some, but this is not one of the main preps in my stockpile. Ah, uh, good old American Spam. Now less than three bucks for a 12 ounce can. Look at this, only seven grams of protein. And there's a lot of salt in there, but I'm not too worried about that. It's this, potato starch, sodium nitrates also in here, sugar. And personally, my family, we don't eat any pork at all. Spam is not on our list, but I know a lot of people like it and that's fine. But honestly, those ingredients in there, especially for the fact that it's only seven grams of protein, I don't know, that's probably not something you're gonna wanna add to your stockpile either. Ooh, but how about some Alaskan pink salmon, 376 a can, not too bad, with 4.75 ounces of salmon. And taking a look at this, 17 grams of protein. Hey, not bad. Not bad indeed. Fish, excellent for you, very good for you. Pink salmon, delicious. I like this one. Keeping with the fish, tuna. Chunk light tuna, this one's in water. 216 for 12 ounces. That's a lot cheaper than the salmon, isn't it? And with this, we can see it has 17 grams of protein. Very nice. So tuna, that's pretty good. Good price, nice and cheap, lots of proteins, definitely good contender. And again, fish, it's very good for you. Or is it? I mean, we do worry about the amount of mercury content and there is mercury in tuna. It's in the microgram levels, but obviously if you eat a lot of it, you're going to start developing mercury inside of you. Not the best ingredient you want to have. And of course, there's always the controversy that dolphins inside uh, this can as well, because they say sometimes dolphins get caught up in there. And so, I mean, unless you like a little bit of flipper in your tuna, I don't know if that's something you really wanna have. 
And last on our list, sardines. This one's sardines in water. You can get an oil, lots of different flavors too. A dollar seven, but the can is only 3.75 ounces. However, you need to look at this. Besides all kinds of vitamins and everything, 16 grams of protein. So it's interesting, even though this is only like a third or a fourth the size of the tuna, the price is cheaper. I mean, obviously, if you want pound for pound, the tuna is cheaper. But when you're looking at the amount of proteins, they're almost the same. And this is a fraction of the cost. And you don't have to worry about the mercury. You don't have to worry about dolphins getting caught up in it. I mean, granted, you have to look at the possibility of fish staring back at you as you eat it. But that is something you may want to consider. Okay, so I put in third place, tuna, yay which is great. Now, I like the tuna. It's inexpensive. It has fish in there, which fish is really good for you. We do have to worry about, if you want to worry about dolphins in there, if you want to worry about mercury in there, you can always get wild Alaska pink salmon. The salmon is obviously much better for you. It's more expensive, but I don't know. Maybe I'll put both of these in third place. Second place, canned chicken. And unfortunately, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but it really is one of those prepper things. People do love the canned chicken. I buy a lot of it. It's a lot of it in our stockpiles. I don't like the texture of it. Just eating it from the can is not the tastiest thing. But when you mix it with things, and that's the whole point of having these proteins, by the way, is you can mix it with other stuff too. If you happen to want to have carbs and you can put it with some, with some rice, whatever the case may be. But you know, overall, you really can't go wrong with these cans of chicken. And I know a lot of people like to buy the freeze dried stuff, but this will last forever. Even the pull top cans will last forever. The problem is, is they can happen to break open as long as the can's nice and intact. You don't have to worry about that. And of course, saving some more money, I like to buy the mega packs like this, which drastically reduces the possibility of this little pull top um, coming open. So second place, chicken, excellent. And first place, sardines, woohoo. Winner, winner, chicken, no, winner, winner, sardine dinner, a buck for this can. And there's different types of flavors. You can get it in water and oil, all kinds of stuff. Now, you do have to worry about them staring back at you. That's okay. Close your eyes while you eat it. But it's very, very good for you. Wild caught fish that has all the things you need. High protein, high protein. And the best part about it is since we're looking at the amount of protein in here, look at the size of this can. Even if we took the box off, the can stack up. Compare that with like chicken, you could stockpile so much more, so many more of these sardines. In my opinion, this is really the perfect prepper food you want to have, the prepper canned meat. Having some chicken in there, having some tuna, having some salmon, or a couple other things that you might actually want to put in a little bit too, like I like a little bit of the really bad for you, you know, corned beef. This really comes down to the best thing you can have pound for pound price-wise. Who knew? All right, so put in the comments below, what's your favorite canned meat? There's obviously lots of choices. You know, even though sardines is the best for you, it may not be your favorite flavor, or maybe you don't like the fish looking at you. Put in the comments below. I'd like to see what you think it is, uh, what your favorite food is, and uh, I'd like to um, possibly consider that in our stockpile too. Thanks for watching.